Hi, well, welcome back to Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf. It's like, wasn't supposed to rain today? And it's raining, it's a storm. We got still like 20 minutes old. Technical light before it gets dark. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take the SXR out stuff. And uh, yeah, this is my new setup. Got a second one coming soon, a couple days. Um, but I did change the Swanson's farther back still as low as they can go. Uh, I did notice that the bolts that hold the plates on weren't loose, but they need to be tightened. So um, I did that. And, uh, good thing is nobody's even gonna do that. Nobody's even near the boat. We're only one on boat. How you doing, bro? Good to yourself? Good, good. Yeah, so, figure, hey, what the heck, I'll take advantage of it, it's still warm out. I know I did a live stream last night, and a bunch of my subscribers were telling me how cold it is in certain parts up north, where it's like high 50 degrees. I mean, I think it's about like 75 degrees right now. Um, and then, obviously it's a little bit colder because of the uh, water is a little cool. Uh, it's not that bad. Not, not yet where you need to have a wetsuit. And then technically it's not dark out because it's a storm. I mean, I'm not one to go out dark. But, I like to test and see how this thing's riding. And, uh, just curious. So yesterday, I heard out that somehow this thing is attached. And this he went all the way to the other side. But the current being so strong, which is crazy. And uh, luckily his pontoon boat helped me over there because you don't know because people fish here and stuff. There could be something sharp in there. I mean, you don't know if there's a sharp log. It's not really a swimming hole here. So it was nice that they gave me a little ride. You know, it wasn't that far, but... It was nice. Alright. Got that on there. At least there's nobody here. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Alright. Yeah, so it's crazy. Well, it's crazy. So I'm picking up the new 2021 Yamaha Super Jet. And originally I was picking both stuff up from Reva Motorsports. And then, um, which I did, sent them a deposit for both. I was getting the new GP. And I did a whole video why I'm not getting the new GP. I, I basically want to wait for the 2022 of that. Just because I think some stuff was like rushed or there's a shortage of Yamaha parts right now and whatnot. And that shares parts from the previous years, you know. And uh, then when they gave me a quote of how much it was all going to be, and which is like a 10 hour drive, it was super fun. They were more money than uh, like $3,000 or like $3,500 more for the GP than a dealer that's 35 minutes from my house. And originally, when I, you know, like when I saw all added that up, I'm like, that doesn't even make any sense. And then even two, it's they were overcharging me on the super jet, so I actually canceled both and then getting my money sent back and going with a different dealer with getting uh, the super jet and then just plan on getting the new GP, which is going to be out less than nine months from now to 2022 is when you really think about it. And I'm uh, just going to be doing that, which is probably a much smarter thing, let alone it's just with the whole COVID thing going on a giant road trip, even though it's just a couple states away. It's just Florida is kind of hot zone right now with COVID. And then, uh, four dogs, it would be like I would have to rent an RV, and it just would, it would be a very big trip just to get a, a jet ski then, especially when you're over being charged, it just doesn't make any sense. Then when it's 35 minutes from my house, my dogs can stay at home, and I can come back the same day. I mean, it's not like we're devoting a big chunk of time, time to this stuff, so, and it all, you know, it all works out in the end. 
And they told me that the other thing is Reba never even told me when I'm doing the super jet. I've been like in the dark about everything. Uh, even two of knowing exactly when the GP was coming. They actually texted me today and said, oh, we got it. And I'm like, I wish you could have had some time frame to know and stuff. And uh, this other dealer that I'm going to be getting the deposit with instead said it won't be till after the first of the year getting the super job. So they're obviously not happening anytime soon. And um, so it means it's going to be really cold out once they come. It's going to be in the middle of winter here, which it's not that bad, but it's still going to be you know, like 40 degrees. It's not going to be a lot of fun. It's very curious. You see how the water looks like this? You can tell the current isn't as strong as normal, but it also can give you outlines of it. It almost looks like ice, but it's not very interesting how this all looks. Um, yeah, this is where I live. It's very, very weird, very bizarre every time you come out here how the water works underneath. Uh, but also too, I'm doing free monthly giveaway, so it's totally free to enter. Uh, just be subscribed to I Am Beowulf, this, this channel, and my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation. You gotta be subscribed to both, and then you gotta follow me on Instagram, I Am underscore Beowulf. Don't do Insta, then it has to be Facebook. Uh, I Am Beowulf on my Facebook page. And you have to do those to be entered to win, and it's totally free. And uh, I'll be doing like Jet Tribe. Uh, Life best giveaways. This is how weird this all is. Isn't that kind of weird? There we go. There we go. Nice with these handlebars from Reva. I can move forward a lot more on the ski.
coming in hot. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Poor SXR. It's so, what the weirdest thing is, you, when I rode in the Midwest, it doesn't handle like what it handles like here. It's, it's actually, to be honest, it's super annoying right now. I mean, the other places, it's so much fun to ride here. It's like, you just don't have a lot of wiggle room. And when the thing's wanting to jerk different directions, especially even worse when you go faster. I mean, it's hard to ride just kneeling, which is basically, you can ride this thing however you want. I mean, to me, I, I find sometimes the kneeling, most people race, they're squ squatting on the thing. I mean, it's basically the same thing. I just watch videos of people racing these. I'm thinking, how this thing's handle? Gee, this is not race quality right now. It's like kind of like, what the heck is going on with the quality? I don't know. Yeah, check that. That intake rate. Make sure there's... Yeah, nothing there. Really freaking mind-boggling to now. And it's like weather has gotten worse hey at least i went out i knew i knew coming out that not anything was going to be fixed i knew basically i was still going to be messing around figuring out what's going on and, uh, sure that thing's on. i'm going for a swim but hey guess is how the cookie crumbles right at least i went out wasn't like spent the whole day I knew it was going to probably do this, so, I mean, which is weird is, one time I came out, the thing rode really good, after pulling off the intake crate, then it got worse again, now I feel like it's backtracking, that's what makes me a little worried about buying the new Superjet, is it doesn't have sponsons, but does the ride plate really make a difference? I'm feeling right now what's making this thing worse is the right plate. And I'm running the Texas Watercross right plate and I like to do is put it back to stock before the next time riding. See what we go from there. If it's better or worse. There are other people in the market that make ride plates for a lot less money because I spent a lot of money on the Texas Watercross stuff, the ride plate and intake rate. And, uh, I don't know. It's, other places it feels really good. And in here it's just like, it's not drivable. It's act, it actually gives me a kind of a headache. Come on, like this is just, it hit, it's fun, but I mean it's like, I don't want to be riding. If you, if it's doing this, if you're just kneeling, I mean what's going to happen when you're standing up? It's not going to handle better. It's going to be even harder. I don't know, we'll have to figure this all out. Basically today was another testing. And uh, I figured, hey, you should play around with the uh, ride plate. And the sponsors, I mean. Play around with the sponsors and figure it help it. But uh, yeah, it's totally wild. This is the rig, man. Crown Big 71 lead package got a second one coming they'll have a canine cage awesome vehicle for towing hooking up got this really sick alpine head unit cook up two cameras i'm going to be hooking up a camera on the back to make it easier putting the jet ski in with the piece of cake it's taking out you can't see anything um yeah this is a, a new rig and i'm picking up another one that's uh you're newer than this one. I really like these things. I mean, I think they pull really nice. I actually find it, this pulls better than my Jeep SRT. The Jeep SRT could, maybe because that thing was like full-time, full-wheel or all-wheel drive. Uh, but it had all these settings, but I find this just getting around area a tad easier, which I'm pretty happy with. Man, this is, this is frustrating. I really, I looked at the radar too. He said all this was gonna pass. It was not gonna get like this. This is uh, 
Oh, so look at it right there. It is coming down from this overpass. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Check out the, my Amazon store. Amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. The I'm Beowulf merch. I'm Beowulf.com. Be driven to win. Never give up. Never surrender. Be safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Beowulf Nation.